All right, you guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Noble L Show. You guys can join our email group where we share information. Sometimes before we actually make the videos, you can also join our um, email. You can join our. You can visit us on our website. You can join our email group at themullingsatgmail.com. You can join us on our online tutor school class for up to 13 assignments there. And you can visit us on the two YouTube channels. Remember to like, share, subscribe. Um, those of you in need of um, a private email consultation, you can email us at themullingsatgmail.com. For those of you in need of set off for things such as um, child support cases, mortgages, foreclosures, ticket citations, um, auto loans, student loans, uh, warrants, and for those of you having to see an agent doing business as parole officer, as well as those of you in the churches doing business as jails for non-violent offenses, you can email us for the GSA pawn templates to set off, set off, set off matters, as well as the 1099 OID to get back the finances they claimed you owed. Somebody was asking us if they could do it for their taxes and stuff, but they didn't have a mortgage. Can you guys research that and tell us if you can do it for, we had, when we first started, we heard you could do it on the bank accounts, like your deposits, your paycheck deposits, like every two weeks or every month or whatever you get your paycheck, right? Because those deposits, the banks were doing fractionalized lending, right? So they were, they were taking like a $100 check and then turning that into thousands, right? So you were going after the withholding, which the bank had listed as a gift. So go and research and see if you could still do that um, for us and just comment, put it in the comment section or you can email us with that so we know um, because we think that you could still go after. So if you have your receipts, like things that you're purchasing and you have the taxes on those receipts, you might be able to get that back. That's what I'm thinking, right? All right, so you can um, remember you guys, please, please, please support us here. Um, thank you to all of you who supported us here. Um, yeah, we really greatly appreciate it. Huge difference. Thank you, thank you, thank you to each and every one of you. Remember to support us here. Go to PayPal at themullingsatgmail.com. Now, let me show you what I want to talk about today. You guys know there was a whole bunch of stuff going on with this Suez Canal, right? Here is the website. I'll put this in the description below, right? So you can go there. You can contact us here. Get in touch with us here. We'll write back to you here. And uh, let's see. I wanted to talk about some of the comments in the videos that I just made a minute ago. Well, a couple days actually. Um, Divine the wisdom of the seer says, do you know when they were dating? Um, when they were banning the Dr. Seuss books, they were actually arresting people. Most of them were Democrats. What? All were arrested for human trafficking, you guys, and pedophilia as well. A lot of distractions for the mass arrests. I didn't know that. Thank you for that, Divine Wisdom of the Seer. Um, you guys, comment below. Tell us if that's true. I have you in mind. AG says, I have you in mind. Hopefully, we can work together one day. God's willing. Thank you for that, AG Global. Noble um, Bernice Earl McGill L. Bay says, God helps those who help themselves. Get up and move things. Make it happen. Yeah, that's true. Thank you for that, Noble uh, Bernice Earl McGill L. Bay. And then Noble, same same someone writes that. That does not mean sit on your behind and do nothing but wait on God, I self, law, and master. Okay, thank you for that. And then Howard King says, thank you so much, Noble L, for continuing to bring us the truth. I'm still keeping the faith, peace, love, blessings, and wholeness to all God's children. Um, thank you for that, Howard King. And then divine the wisdom of the seer says, banning Dr. Seuss is what he meant to say. And then AG Global says, hey, mama, God bless. Okay, thank you for that, AG Global. God bless you as well. Then Keith Aldant, hey, you made reference to number 13. Yes, I did. I made reference to number 13. I was adding up, I think, the scripture numbers. In this video, you guys can click on it and see in the description below I was adding, because number 13 is lucky, lucky number 13, right? Numbers 13 and Caleb and Joshua going in to spy out the land and claim the land. We need to remember that we don't provoke the Lord to anger and to turn back in the day of provocation. Thank you for that. Um, yeah, okay. 
So thank you for that, Keith. And then JL says, thank you so much for sharing God's blessings into your heart. Thank you, JL. Thank you so much as well for sharing God's blessing into your heart. And then Keith Aldan says, I now come um, reading um, from King, um, must be James chapter 14, starting with, um, he says, Jimmy, with verse 10, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with the fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the lamb, the leaven and the smoke of the torment ace sent it up forever and ever. They have no rest day or night to worship the beast and his image. You guys can read the rest of that because it's quite long. Thank you for that, Keith Aldent. Aland, Aland, A L A N D T. All right. Now I want to show you guys a couple things that um, they sent to us. This here, I'm not going to play all of it. Was it was on Sunday. Yesterday we had this ridiculous lockdown in Brisbane businesses, as I've said. What he's saying here is public servants, right? You guys know, and billionaires profited while others lost their livelihoods. Um, from the said lockdowns, right? So he's. This is the first time I've heard Sky News explain something that made well, now struggle sense. to survive. Many will shut their door. Right. So you guys can watch the rest of that. I'll put that in the description below. Now, this one I really like this because this explained what was really going on. Update on Evergreen headed headed for inspection, um, and then Daniel explains it in the video below. You guys just listen to the good parts, right? The corruption parts, leave it alone. Do not give energy to crap and garbage that doesn't help you in any kind of way, right? So part of this video I like, part of it I did not watch. Um, as soon as I heard corruption, I turned it off. The current position of Ever Given is at the Red Sea coordinates, and then it gives you the coordinates reported two hours ago by AIS. The vessel is en route to the port of Rotterdam, sailing at a speed of 0 0.1 knots and expected to arrive there on March 31st. It just says 2, it doesn't say AM or PM. The um, vessel ever given, um, and then it has the numbers, the coordinates there, is a container ship built in 2018, three years old, and currently sailing under the flag of Panama. All right, so you guys can read all of this here. I'm gonna put it in the description below. Click on it, right? It says, reports broke today that the ship had been successfully refloated um, a, not so fast. The ship is apparently on its way, but it's headed for inspection. That is what we've all been waiting for, right? And they said a lot of stuff on that ship is from, as I want to say, Walmart. Now, this is really amazing. This here, Evergreen ties in with, look, you guys, look at the names here. Okay, read it. first case of the crop was in Seattle, Washington at Evergreen Care Facility. I didn't know that. Gates lives in Washington at, and um, as well as Bezos. And they live off of what road? Evergreen Road, you guys. Some nursing home burnt down and it was called what? Evergreen. Oh boy. And where does the Simpsons live? Off of Evergreen Lane and the Suez Canal and Evergreen ship container, um, the size of two ships blocking the canal. Look what it's connected to, you guys. Read it. Evergreen truck blocks road in China after Suez Canal incident. Remember I told you about the movie that they sent to me years ago called Panama. It was Taylor in Panama and it was about the Pan Panama Canal and them um, not allowing China to take it over or something. Go and watch that movie. I put it in the description of the last couple of videos, right? And then now definition of evergreen means Perennially fresh or interesting, enduring. Okay. And then um, what does this all mean? You're going to find out that the entire world's economy is based on what people? Look at that. Did you see that? 
Read it. Read it, you guys. Canadian um, crap over compliance exposed Chris Sky is the Canadian man who walked through the airport without a mask or without taking a test with a so-called agents doing business police escorts. All right, now, and then there was this one. Hang on. Did I do this one already? Yeah, I think so. All right. Okay, so they've been sending me all these parole... Um, uh, episodes. This particular one, however, is about, um, guess what you guys, the Suez Canal. It's not really about that. In the first few blurbs, you'll hear them talk about it and Egypt and how Britain was trying to protect Egypt regarding the Suez Canal. And I just found these pearl, um, videos, these, um, episodes, really interesting there's one there's two of them that i watched one was about i watched quite a few of them but there's three in particular this one and two others this other two was about identity theft insurance pyramid scheme and the communist nazi stealing um uh private secret government information and sending it over to hitler at the time and then um this other one there was that one and there was another one i watched that was really interesting. If I can, if you bring it to memory, God, I'll mention it here. If not, I'm just going to put it in the, in the description below. But there were quite a few of them that I watched um, recently, which I found on these episodes really interesting. So you guys can watch these, right? And then now, um, these are some of the things that I had. Um, hang on. Go back. I wanted to show you guys some of the stuff that they had shared with us. Previous, you can join our email group and we'll share with you a lot of this stuff when it comes in, so you'll get it right away, right? Now, um, just read it, you guys. I'm going slow. The Egyptian president, Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, ordered that the shipping container should be removed from the huge ever given ship oh ordered that the shipping containers should be removed from the ever given ship currently trapped in the Suez Canal okay we just talked about that part read it you guys These guys were all involved, you guys. Look, Facebook, read what Facebook was paid by the U.S. taxpayers. Okay. Look, look at Wall Street, you guys. Read it. Short selling. And who are they stealing from? Us.
So that's what I wanted to talk about there. You can visit us there on the new website. You can email us there. Um, this is our last video. You can click on that to read more. Right? Yes, do not provoke God's children to wrath. Um, what's going on with these lockdowns? Now, international authorities, I come to you in good faith. Um, Donald Trump, Donald Trump, Donald Trump. Attention office of Donald Trump, Donald Trump, Donald Trump. Michael Flynn, the Army, the Navy, the military, the Marines. Go now quickly. Speak to the agents doing business as... Oh, you're doing business as these agents now. All right. So um, just use the $9 billion and all the other international bills of exchange that we sent to you to assist the people in this territory and if globally needed to. Um, in the so-called water situation, um, as you know, the people have been in lockdowns and so their um, resources and things have been affected. Their livelihoods have been affected. So um, these utility companies cannot now expect them to pay what they don't have, right? For God's natural resources that God gave to us freely. So go and use our private number to set off, set off, set off the matter and see to it the people are set free this night and they have access to water for their themselves and their babies and yeah, their, their families and tribes, right? Do that in for us now and also have all the restaurants <clears throat> in this territory reopen um, in the so-called time that they're shutting them down because the people who are seniors, the people who are disabled rely on those local restaurants um, tremendously for their food. Also, go and find out, um, they reported yesterday that they were feeding 600 to 1,200 homeless. You know that there's more homeless people in this territory um, and globally. So see to it that um, the rest of the people are fed. And those restaurants, we know, um, do a lot of good in the communities as well. We have personally spoken to a lot of the restaurant owners here and um, know that they do a lot of good for the people. Um, so it's not just the homeless people that we're concerned about. And um, it's the seniors and the people who are disabled and the babies and the people who are having financial difficulties that rely on those restaurants um, in many, many ways um, to provide food for them. I know not all the restaurants do it, but a lot of them do help out as much as they can too. So see to it now they're reopened for all of us that we use them on the regular to assist us who cannot physically um, cook daily and stuff like that for our tribe and what have you. Do that in advance. Um, thank you in advance for your speedy response to that matter. By Noble Honorable Ange Elena D. Alfred L. Rubin, I tribe chief. American Indian Alodi Tuttle Morish American National UCC 1-308 without recourse, all rights reserved. I stand by the Book of Ruth by my deceased organ harvested husband and myself, Jackson. Also see to it now we receive our emails because you guys know the other thing that we're experiencing. Some of our emails are being affected with the stuff that's going on, um, the changeovers and stuff. So we'd like our emails today. And every day, that'd be really helpful. And um, yeah, you guys remember to support us here. Go to paypal at gmail at gmail.com. And um, yeah, just let your light so shine before men so they may see your good works and glorify the Father which is in heaven. Peace to the gods, peace to the gods, peace to the gods. Who are the gods? You are, Psalms 82, 6. And do unto others as you'd have others do unto you. It is the law of Matthew 7, 12. And also, um, let your light so shine before men so they may see your good works and glorify the Father which is in heaven. Put God first and all good things will come after. Um, faith without works is dead. Um, yeah, God helps those who help themselves. And um, yeah, just do you, you guys, put you in it and just, I don't even know, cry if you have to, laugh if you have to, do what you need to do, but just do you. Like, share, subscribe, you guys. Have yourself a great day.